Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Dark Souls 3 walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 11. Um, we're back at Firelink Shrine. I'm going to level up. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak. Very well. Then touch the pig, Nari. Um, and I'm going to, let's see, we're going to do one here. We're going to do 20, 20 for... For our survivability. It should be good. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. And let's talk to Hawkwood. I don't think he has anything to say. Gaining admission to the leap. E <laughs> no. And I don't think... He, we're going to meet Rosaria soon. I don't think he has to. Now in vain and come. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. Um, I don't think I have any large Titanites yet. Let's see if I have any more souls. We're going to read some item descriptions right now. Sacred chime of casting miracles of gods, a bell vine cut from the saint, uh, small saint tree has been meticulously tended to. Saint tree bell vines are customarily the far north and allow for faster casting than ordinary sacred chimes. I believe this is a Dark Souls 2 chime. And this is definitely from Dark Souls 2. This is the Pursuer's Shield. So, great shield given to those who resisted the curse long ago, far too heavy. For an ordinary person, perhaps it signifies foolishness of resisting the curse, and yet those who bear the weight of the shield will not find protections against curses wanting. So this is, I believe, referring to the curse of Nishandra from Dark Souls, excuse me, Dark Souls 2. Um, which is really interesting because I'm trying to figure out how this fits into Dark Souls 3. Um, don't believe there's we picked up any other weapons that have significant lore. Um, let's check. We got I believe the skirt of one of the wardens. Tired of the grave wardens of the Cathedral of the Deep, the grave wardens were tasked with disposing of ever rising corpses that plagued the cathedral. Their clothes are utterly putrid, drenched in the blood and mucilage of their undertaking. So that's... The, the Cathedral of the Deep just turned into... a cemetery. You know, instead of a cathedral. There's so many dead bodies there, and everyone in Aldrich was consuming them. Um... Now we're gonna go back. Actually, no. We want to burn our undead bone shard. That's right. We want to go get our Estes Flask from Andre. We picked up uh, a shard. This episode might run a little long because we got to do a lot of stuff. There's going to be an invasion. Ah, just good, just let me. Um. Pretty big. Okay, perfect. Okay. We're good. We're good. Go back to the cleansing chapel. to open up that shortcut and that will happen in this episode i hope so let's go this way i don't believe there's anything 
Garrett now. And this was actually, we can come down here. Let's see. Oh, no, just loops around. <laughs> My bad. I got turned around for a second. Now we should be able to take this elevator up. See what the dark, uh, the hollowing has done to our face. Got a couple. So we came from that way. Got a couple places to go. Go downstairs. I'll go there. So first, let's go this way. Was not near her. That is some beautiful blood boy stuff. That is beautiful. Get the deep gem here. That really took me off. It made me want to go just restart, you know, uh, go back and heal at the bonfire because we just lost Nestus Flask because this is going to be our run for our life right here. Anyway, that, that, oh, completely forgot about him. It's not even worth it. Well, he's not going to let me through, so I guess I am going to have to. Heal up again, why not? I honestly should go back to the bonfire, but... What we're gonna do is we're gonna run. Try not to get hit. I'm sorry about this. But. This is why I don't like Dark Souls 3. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean. Yeah, I can't wait to get to Dark Souls 2. Because I thought that was the worst one in the series. And, you know, playing this. Doing the, the, doing the testing for this. Um, on PC. I'm playing the PS4 Pro. But I was testing, you know, a character on PC. And doing the work on that and uh, for this walkthrough, lore through series. Um, and I really wanted to love this game and give it another chance. Um, I'm souring on it even more and more. There is so much BS in this game, you know? Um, I would argue that Dark Souls Remastered, just regular Dark Souls, and Demon Souls are way way more fair than this. Way more, more fair. And of course, my... This way. I actually do need to ember up because um Ugh. really. These things I can 
one shot these guys. Oh, did I get him for the backswing? That's awesome. Seek guidance. We'll read all this when we're in a much safer place. But, uh, we get the seek guidance miracle there. And now we can run up here. I'm going to need to ember up. She did not drop anything. And we're above here if we wanted to come down. I'm not messing with that giant. I can't wait to kill him soon. <laughs> uh, just, you know, the BS in this game. Just There's just too much of it. You know, the teleporting. The hitboxes. I'm just like, man, I must be the only one. Oh, great. He dropped something I can't get. I must be the only one that, that's throwing a little bit of hate on this game, because everyone thinks it's a masterpiece, and it's great, and, and I'm not going to say it's not a good game. It really is. It's a really good game. I mean, always. You know, FromSoft always has incredible quality. You know? You got it. I'm dead. the deep braille divine tome to give to Irina. Um. This way. I believe there is a knight that comes patrolling here. There he is. Okay. If you're good at pairing, parry the sucker. How he got me there when I rolled is beyond me. That hit me. See the hitbox? I shouldn't have gotten a backstab on him there. I don't know how I did. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. I only bought the hitboxes. Okay, now here we've got to uh, be careful because it's going to be a giant spider, which, from the life of me, I don't... I, I remember uh, Spider Boss in the... Um, you know, in Dark Souls 2, there's a giant spider boss, but... There's no spiders in Dark Souls 1, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So, we're gonna grab this. And... There's the giant Bloodborne spider. I have no idea you can cause curse. I get cursed. Wow, he's never killed me. Wow, I must be just awful at this game. I'm sure. Please roast me in the comments. Um, I've never died to that boss. I forgot to get this, which is a uh, notched whip. Um, it's not even a boss. I mean, I've never died to that enemy. That's insane right now. I'm kind of going a little crazy. That's so stupid. How did he insta-curse me? That's insane! Okay, um... Alright... I don't know, man. 
I, I don't know. Wow. I'm making this look harder than it really is. That guy's never killed me. I mean, I... Let me know if you know why he curses. Please let me know. Now we gotta deal with this BS. ceiling. Right. Okay. Let's do this again. I'm not even gonna block, I'm just gonna get hit by him and Alright, let's try this again. get Aldrich's Sapphire. This is really interesting. You know, I'm going to stop and read this because he drops Aldrich's Sapphire. Um, now that ring... A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, recovers FP for critical attacks. Aldrich famously infamous for his appetite for flesh apparently had a desire to share others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while uh, luxuriating his victim's screams. Why that enemy, that special spider enemy, dropped that is beyond me. I'm pretty, I mean, does it say that he's Aldrich? That he's really Aldrich? I know we fight Aldrich. I believe we do. Um, is that spider really Aldrich? We're up here. And, uh, we're gonna get invaded by a familiar foe from Dark Souls 1. In this game, he's called Long Finger Kirk. on the sword is insane. Oh. He's, you guys fight shield. His sword will read all that. It's really interesting. Run straight this way. We're gonna get a shortcut. I believe it's a shortcut right here. Remember here, we beat that guy before we looked up.
now we're back at this shortcut right here. Now we've got this one. Now this, I believe, is the uh, way of progression, which we will do. Not yet. Wanted to open that up. Now we gotta go pick, take on those giants. And this knight that's over here. We'll do that later. Let's go take on the giant over here. <laughs> Get all the good stuff. That giant. Actually, do we want to take on this one first? A little easier. There's going to be... Actually, no. Let's just go do this. Fight the giant peacefully. There's only one left. No more fireballs. So, just beat him. Tight night and a dung pie. Another pale tongue. It's nice that you can go up there and he'll reset. What I was trying to do the drain armor. Get the drain goblins. And I believe those the weapons. Really cool twin weapons, I think, the drain hammers. Really cool. The sludge, I mean, this is just annoying. But you gotta have it in every FromSoft game, right? Go over here, just make sure there's nothing here, and I don't think there is. These platforms are actually gonna raise. Um, Alright, yes, this one will raise it. This way. Careful with that 
acid that is. Okay. Please, kill me. Hate those enemies. Absolutely hate them. soul here. interesting we get the maiden up here so i'm wondering if this cathedral of the deep was linked because we got the maidenhood there to kareem and it's become cursed let me know if the co in the comments below if, if you think that i mean i'm sure we're gonna get some lore to either disprove my thought there but We get the maidenhood here. That belonged to, um, gosh, what's her name in Dark Souls 1? The Way of the White. Um, gosh, I can't remember her name. I know it's going to come to me. Get the St. Biden here. One more bone. And I believe that's all we get. So let's just, re let's, get, let's get some recap. Let's read some lore notes on these items. Um, Silver Biden decorated by a holy symbol formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one's faith on the day he put his own faith behind him. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to read our, our store's spirit. No, no, we have our store spirit. I really got him. I think I did uh, the... Uh, where is the... There it is. Sword of Longfinger Kirk, the infamous Knight of Thorns. This sword's blade is lined with countless deadly thorns. The thorns of the ominous weapon are heavily in bleeding. What I don't understand is how he's become a Rosario's finger when he was linked to the Bed of Chaos and he was linked to the uh, Isolith. Because that was his last invasion. That's where you find him in Isolith. In Dark Souls 1. That's something I'm trying to figure out. Did he just become a long finger for L Rosario? We're gonna go meet her actually pretty soon. Um, this episode might go a little long because. Here, make sure. Oh, didn't want the corrosive to hit me, but that's okay. So now we're actually we're gonna go back to where we are at the shortcut, and we're actually gonna take the el uh, the elevator up. 
Um, did I raise that? I did raise that. Okay. Now, I believe that's gonna raise. So we did want to raise that. We got that. We're good there. Now we can go. It's really interesting to see all these hooded, and I'm trying to figure out who they are. Um, I think they... We see the enemies in Arch Dragon Peak. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, this part's gonna suck. This takes us all the way up. We're gonna come up here. And this enemy's gonna drop a ring, and it's really interesting because he just drops it. So, this guy's actually kind of special. So, he's gonna drop a deep ring. It's a really good ring that I'm gonna actually use in this playthrough. There it is. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the cathedral, so he was a deacon of the cathedral, allows attunement of the additional spells. The cathedral in the cathedral slumber most terrible and such as the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure that they do not falter their duty, a philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesque uh, the grotesque queries at hand. Hmm. Oh, I should have put the Estus uh, ring on. That should have been, that would have been smarter. Okay, so now we're just gonna walk off here. Heal up. Real careful here. I'm not even gonna fight these knights up here. I just want to get to the. Okay. Sir. So I'm going to run for this item. I'm not even going to fight the uh, knights. I'm going to heal up. No. He got me. See, that, that, that should have never happened. I was actually sprinting straight. Wow, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> that should have never happened. But, uh... Okay, Dark Souls 3. Alright. Alright. Alright, Dark Souls 3. 
All right. That guy's not supposed to come up. I don't know what triggered the him jumping up like that um, from there. You're supposed to sprint past them before they come. Um, it's not even worth it. Now I have to go get my souls, you know. It's not even worth it. I think it's a blessed gem you get from there. Um, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. They literally just waylaid me. That, that's, I mean, it kind of just encapsulates. Um, not why I hate Dark Souls. Let's see, I'm gonna, I don't hate this game, but let, let me, why Dark Souls 3 is infuriating to me, and Dark Souls, and Demon Souls, and even Dark Souls 2 isn't as infuriating as this. Interesting, this guy respawns. Because he is a deacon of the game, he dropped that, so. I'm not even gonna mess with him. Not even gonna mess with him. I'm supposed to fall. Just go back. Oh, right there. Oh. How I didn't die and how this chump didn't die either. Oh, he did, finally. Okay. Rosaria's chambers. This guy, he's not hostile, but he'll drop the red sign. So, so, which makes me think he's actually a character. In fact, he drops that. This is Rosario's bed, bed chamber, and this is what Long, um, our Longfinger friend, or, um, in the, uh, and then here we get Kirk's armor, which is really interesting. We find his armor in Isleth, you know, um, in Dark Souls 1. 
the Rosaria Mother of Rebirth, you can actually, so if you join her cover and offer Pale Tons, yeah, you become Rosaria's Fingers, um, you can actually respect. So you can alter your appearance and, um, reallocate points. So she's our only respec. Okay, so now let's go this way. Go back. Go straight. This way. Charm. So actually, this way is the actual, I believe, will be the boss. But let's open this. This is the big shortcut in the middle. Now we're here. This was the entrance of the cathedral right here. Now we can go this way. I'm sorry for the long episode, but we're so close to being this. Oh no. What? What do you mean it doesn't work? This is the elevator to the boss. Uh-oh. Did I screw something up? Oh boy. Oh boy. I may have screwed something up. No. No. <laughs> no, Dagnabbit. What's supposed to be... What do you mean the contraption doesn't work? That's not... What? No effing way! Alright, I'm back, and, uh... I had to edit the video out a little bit. Because I remembered where I'm supposed to go. I apologize for that, guys. My brain's been mush today. Um, I'm going to take a long break from this and just try to chill out. Get the energy back to try and uh, get through with this. Because I really do enjoy this game. It's just... Some of the systems are just absolutely mind-numbing. They tick me off. So I did die here. I'm trying to remember where I died. Different my souls. God, really? I really hate these enemies. I don't care. I just want my souls. I think I actually... They, they were over here. Right This is how they got me. Okay. I apologize, guys. I am just so tired and angry right now. I just want to get the dang souls. Gonna be. 
this way past all these jerks. Now here is the elevator that I was trying to click. So there's a way here. Oh, stupid. supposed to just run to the boss why did i screw with that guy <laughs> why did i screw with him guys what is wrong with me oh my god please roast me in the comments please destroy me i deserve it man oh that's rough that is rough That is rough. That is rough, guys. I'm having a rough day, as you can tell. I got it. Man, it's, I hate editing videos. It's really tough. I mean, it, it, it is time consuming. And I'm going to have to edit this now. I screwed up so royally. I'm just kind of embarrassed, you know? But I guess this happens when you get let when you let this game frustrate you, you know. Um, patience is key when you're playing a FromSoft. But I I mean this game in particular though has a lot of um, issues. There's I have a lot of issues with it. Um so Boss, boss. Hopefully, and I know he is easy, but we'll see how terrible I am. And there is, I believe, an NPC here. Yes, we're gonna summon Horus to help us. Of course, the hushed. It's really cool that we get to summon him. Um. I want to show all the NPC summons for story reasons, you know, for the lore reasons. Um, let's buff our weapon. Fight the demons.
thought there was a ring back here. Hey. Do I have to leave and come back? I could have sworn there was actually another item behind here. Um, okay. Alright now. I wonder. It shows up right here on the deacon. You get the Archdeacon White Crown, Archdeacon Holy Robe, and Archdeacon Skirt. You actually get it on his body once you rest. Um, so let's get the some of the lore done right here. Let's figure this out. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls are transposed. After Aldrich left the Boreal Valley, Archde Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral, the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. So Aldrich left to for the Boreal Valley, and we just killed Archdeacon Royce. Um, also drop the doll... The item? Yes. Small uh, silverwork doll depicting a young squire in the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Salvain gave this doll to value subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon st sits still in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. That's really interesting. So now we can use this to cross over to into Irithil, which is, I believe, and we'll see, is a um, location of Dark... A very important location of Dark Souls 1. Can't wait for that. Let's look at the Archdemon clothes real quick. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep One stood over Aldrich Casket with hope that he would return one day. That's all we get for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the screwy gameplay in this episode. I'm going to go rest, drink a glass of scotch, try to rejuvenate, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.